good morning children today is our english class for class 5 in today's class we are going to learn a new lesson and the lesson name is robinson crusoe discovers a footprint let's know the summary of this lesson robinson crusoe had been living alone on an island for a long time because his ship had been destroyed by the sea he wanted the company to overcome his loneliness one day he saw a footprint on the sand he was sure that it was the footprint of a man robinson crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea he had been alone for many years and longed for company one day he discovers a footprint on the sand Let's find out what he did then. One day when I was going towards my boat, I was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand. I stood amazed. I listened. I looked around me. I could neither hear nor see anything. One day Robinson Crusoe was going towards the boat. He saw a big footprint on the sand and Robinson Crusoe was very surprised to see the footprint I went up higher to look down I went up the shore and down the shore but it was no good I could find no other footprint but that one I went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been my imagination but i was not mistaken for there was exactly the print of a foot toes heel every part of a foot he looked and listened very carefully around him but there was only one footprint on the sand and no other there was no doubt in his mind that the footprints were those of a man because he had five toes her heel every part of a foot i could not imagine how it came there i stayed a long time thinking but became more and more confused he questioned himself but then realized it was not his imagination he stayed there for long time and became even more confused at last i returned home very frightened looking behind me after every two or three steps mistaking every bush and tree to be a man then finally he returned to his home frightened and looking behind and again as if somebody was following him when i came to my cave which i called my castle i ran inside it as if i was being chased i do not remember whether i used the ladder or went in by the hole in the rock which i called the door i ran for cover faster than any animal could run he ran inside his cave and could not recall how he went in has he ran faster than any animal could run rest of the lesson we will see in next class thank you children